Discover a world of wonder aboard Disney Cruise Line. Now, when it comes to a perfect getaway, we all want to create lasting memories. And with decks of sun-drenched Disney magic, you won't find anywhere else. Disney Cruise Line sets everyone in the family on course for spectacular entertainment and unrivaled relaxation. So this week on Planet Cruise Weekly, we're gonna be taking a look at Disney Cruise Line. Now, Disney Cruise Line consists of four ships, Disney Magic, Disney Wonder, Disney Dream, and Disney Fantasy, with three more luxurious ships arriving by 2024. For most Disney cruises, heading to the Caribbean and the Bahamas, guests will discover the private island Disney Castaway Cay, the tropical island paradise created just for Disney Cruise Line guests. Here, your ship docks right at the island, allowing you to come and go as you please throughout the day. And looking across the turquoise water, you're gonna spot separate spaces for the families, for kids, for teens, and of course, for adults. But before we dive headfirst into this world of magic, do make sure you subscribe to our channel to be notified on whenever we make a video. And while you do that, hit the bell button next to it to receive notifications whenever we release any exciting travel video content. It's really simple. It's ding dong. Done. While on Disney Cruise, there are lots of things included in the price. A sample of these are your full board rotational dining at three uniquely themed restaurants, immersive kids and teens clubs, and special moments with the Disney characters. You'll also enjoy unlimited snacks, soft drinks, tea, coffee and ice cream on deck every day, wow. as well as live West End style productions and magical movies, either in the plush theatre or out on deck under the stars. Romantic. There is so much included in your Disney cruise, but you have the chance to enhance your holiday even further with some additional experiences that, yes, do come with a small extra cost, but are well worth it. Now, these experiences are port adventures, uh, spa and salon services, that's where Kim will be, <laughs> onboard photographs, uh, Wi-Fi, alcoholic beverages. That's where you'll be. Yeah, exactly. And adult-only dining venues, that's where you won't be with comments <laughs> like that. <laughs> these extras are, of course, optional and allow you to create even more memories, so we hope this makes things a little bit clearer. If not, just give one of our many cruise experts a call and we can explain it in more detail. Mm. There are literally loads of different events happening mm. across the ship and some of those will give you the opportunity to meet some of your favourite characters in designated areas. Uh, these characters could include the classic Disney ones like Mickey Mouse, uh, Minnie Mouse, Donald Duck and Cinderella. Uh, and on top of those classic Disney characters on select ships and sailings, you might also get the opportunity to meet uh, Disney Pixar, Star Wars or Marvel characters too. Now, along with the character experiences, you'll get to see award-winning Disney musicals performed every night of the cruise. You can see musicals such as Disney's Aladdin, a musical spectacular Tangled, uh, you've got the musical Beauty and the Beast, and much more. The only thing to note uh, will be to call one of your Planet Cruise experts to check which shows will be on your cruise um, as they vary by ship. The deck parties on board are incredible and will always have a theme from the sail away celebration on your first day to the swashbuckling pirate night deck party with fireworks at sea. There's always fun to be had at one of those parties. And yes, you didn't mishear me. We just said fireworks at yeah. sea. It's absolutely incredible. It's amazing. Yeah. yeah. There will also be open air music and dance extravaganzas delivering Disney magic galore. There's a wide range of pools and water slides on board for all ages. Now, the Aqualab is home to a sparkling pool, a winding water slide and wading pools. Or there is Donald's Pool, which is tailored for kids and families. Now, this is a perfect location to watch movies out on deck. The Aqueduct is found on Disney's Dream and Disney Fantasy and the Aqueduct on the Disney Magic, which is a slide that propels thrill seekers on an exhilarating journey through an acrylic tube over the side 
of the ship to an unforgettable splashdown. Now, all the ships also offer an adults-only pool area, and the Disney Dream and Disney Fantasy also provide a relaxing adults-only splash pool with a cascading rain curtain. Ooh, nice. Have you experienced a cascading rain curtain before? No, I don't think I have, actually. Mm. Have you? No, I don't think I have. I like the sound of it, though. Yeah, different. Disney Cruise Line provides a seamless cruise experience for the whole family, but don't get confused by what we mean here. A Disney cruise isn't just for children, it's for adults too. There are lots of couples that travel on a Disney cruise uh, without children. Now, there are also plenty of adult-only areas to the ship. Examples of this could be um, seen in the Quiet Cove pool at the front of each ship, or the restaurants Palo and Remy. There's also a luxurious spa and range of unique lounges and clubs. Smaller sailors from six months to three years of age can play in It's a Small World Nursery. Now this is at an extra cost, but it will give your children a really fun environment. This will give you as parents time away to enjoy one another's company while knowing that your child is safe and secure and enjoying themselves. Disney's Oceaneer Club and Disney's Oceaneer Lab are the biggest kids clubs mm -hmm. on the ships, with a range of activities, events and programmes open to ages 3 through to 12 that could be spoilt for choice. Disney's Oceaneer Club has multi-themed magical lands, character-driven mm. performances, special storytelling sessions, larger-than-life play areas, dress-up opportunities, I want to get involved with this, um, and cool interactive activities which are sure to delight tiny tots and older kids alike. Toys and games, an open seating area for arts and crafts and ongoing Disney movies mean there is never a dull moment. Although each ship has different themes, all children will be inspired by a world of wonder. This is Oceaneer Lab is an interactive space uh, where kids can play games, perform crazy experiments and discover all kinds of activities. Toys, Disney movies and creatively themed areas with hands-on experience as well to keep children 3 to 12 years well entertained. The Lab has a seafaring theme with a hearty splash of pirate skullduggery Arr! thrown in <laughs> for good measure. That was my pirate yeah. impression by the way. One. Now Edge is exclusive for tweens a perfect place for these children to watch movies, play games, enjoy arts and crafts, and just hang out with other people their age. While the edge experience aboard each uh, pair of ships differs, the idea behind them is the same. So edge provides guests age 11 through to 14 with their own special hangout. Equipped with the best technology and entertainment, including flat screen TVs, computers and video games, and featuring daily guided activities, this interactive play space is bound to become your tween's favourite on-ship destination. There are lots of different activities the kids can get up to here, um, ship-wide scavenger hunts to imaginative role-playing. These high-energy interactive games are designed to inspire creativity, bonding and, of course, teamwork. Vibe is the area for the teenagers. Now there's a host of dance parties to karaoke to just kicking back um, and chilling with a few new mates. Vibe also differs on each ship, but it will give 14 through to 17 year olds a place away from the family to connect with other teens from around the world. Now some of those activities include lots of different types of technology that they can get involved with, of course interaction with other teens and the counsellors that look after the sessions, all of which help them design their very own dream holiday on board. And this will be filled with activities, games, port adventures, and of course, the all-important downtime. The chance to make your very own film, whether you're in front or behind the camera, is also given. And I think that sounds pretty amazing. That's pretty cool. Can you imagine that? Yeah. I'd have loved to have done that when I was on board as a youngster. Yeah, definitely. With Disney Cruise Line, your meals are included in the price of your cruise in the main restaurant. Now they also offer rotational dining, which we did touch on at the very beginning. Now this is very different from any other cruise line and the perfect way for everyone on board to get the best possible experience. So rotational dining is a way to make sure all guests get to enjoy all three themed dining venues on board. 
Each night you will get to eat in a different venue and your dining schedule will be rotated each night too. So this ensures that each guest will get a new menu of offerings each night. And the beauty is that your Disney waiting staff rotate with you. So the same friendly faces welcome you to your table each evening and get to know your food preferences. Now here's a selection of our favorites. My favorite is Animator's Palette, which is on all four ships, but each ship has its own spin on the theme, which is like a dinner show. Now on Disney Magic and Disney Wonder, the venue is done in black and white. On Disney Dream and Fantasy, the venue resembles an animated studio with pencils, paintbrushes, and character sketches. Mm. Depending on which ship you're on, dinner shows might involve Sorcerer Mickey taking you through the history of Disney animation, a conversation with Disney Pixar, finding Nemo's crush, or an animated dance show featuring your own cartoon drawing. On Disney Dream and Disney Fantasy, there's the Enchanted Garden. Now, this is inspired by the Gardens of Versailles. During the course of your dinner, the restaurant's sweeping ceiling changes from a brilliant blue daytime colour into the golden red of a setting sun, transforming finally into a captivating nighttime constellation of twinkling stars. Lumiere's is a contemporary French-themed restaurant inspired by the scheming candelabra mm. from the hit movie. Love this movie. Yeah. The movie, of course, Beauty and the Beast. Now, this is found on Disney Magic and has a spacious ballroom and grand glowing roses which hang in, in wondrous glass domes. It's really spectacular. Royal Court can be found on Disney Fantasy and is modelled after classic Disney animated films including Cinderella, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, Sleeping Beauty and Beauty and the Beast. And whilst eating here you will find, you will, you know, I suppose you'll feel like a Disney princess or a Disney prince. On Disney Wonder there is Tiana's Place. Now this has a rousing celebration of southern cooking. Mixed in with this is live jazz music. Now it's only fitting that we mention that Disney Wonder is sailing out of New Orleans, which is a setting of the Princess and the Frog. Princess mm. and the Frog. It's fitting <laughs> because this restaurant's inspired by that movie. Yeah, the thing is, you're staying that way. When I get kissed, I turn into something even better. <laughs> Palo and Remy are adult-only restaurants. Dine on artfully prepared northern Italian delicacies with a modern twist at Palo an upscale restaurant where Italian-inspired decor and live music mingle with spectacular sea views. Then, on board Disney Dream and Disney Fantasy, you have Remy, which offers French-inspired fare and timeless Art Nouveau decor. This luxurious restaurant will make you feel like you're in Paris in the springtime. Disney Cruise Line staterooms are known as some of the biggest at sea. They are designed with families in mind, are equipped with innovations that ensure the ultimate in comfort and relaxation for guests of all ages. On a Disney cruise, there are four general stateroom categories. These are inside, ocean view, veranda or suite. Unlike other ships, inside and ocean view staterooms are based for three to four guests as opposed to two people. Ocean View with Veranda is the equivalent to a balcony cabin, which can host up to five people. Then with Concierge, it's the suite class. These hold up to seven people, and there's a number of different options. Disney Dream and Disney Fantasy sail from Port Canaveral in Orlando. Mm. Now this port is about an hour away from Walt Disney World Resort in Florida, so you can combine the magic of six incredible Disney parks with a relaxing cruise for the ultimate Disney holiday. Now we here at Planet Cruise have deals on our site which will have everything tailor-made for your needs. This includes flights, hotel or villa stays, tickets to the Disney parks and cruise. Now if you're flying from the UK or Ireland to have a fantastic Caribbean cruise leaving from Orlando on a Disney cruise line, it just makes sense to go and visit Walt Disney World Resort. Disney Magic travels around the Caribbean, Mediterranean and Northern Europe. One of the destinations that really stands out for me is of course the iconic 
Norway. And during these trips, you'll get to see the picturesque sights and harmonious sounds which have inspired Frozen. And to make it even more exciting, some characters from Frozen will make appearances. Mm -hmm. Disney Wonder focuses on cruises around Alaska and the Caribbean. In 2020, Disney Wonder is the first Disney ship to leave from New Orleans. So, if you're a Disney buff like me, you'll be pretty excited. As here, you will find magic around every corner, as you'll recognise the iconic sights and sounds uh, that inspired the beloved animated film, The Princess and the Frog. So there we have it. That's our Planet Cruise Weekly all about Disney Cruise Line. Also, it's well worth noting that some of these features and offerings do vary by ship. And I know there may be an odd bit that we've glanced over. There may also be something that we've missed. And that's because there's literally so much magic and wonder to be had with Disney Cruise Line. But that's what the comment section below is for. So please do let us know about your uh, what you or your budding cruisers mm. think about Disney Cruise Line. Let us know if you've been on board, if you're going to go on board, if you'd love to go on board. Just get in touch. We'd love to hear from you. I'm Keith. This is Kim. And uh, we'll see you soon. Hi everyone, thanks very much for watching the video. Please don't forget to comment and subscribe below and remember to click the bell to get those notifications turned on. And if you're looking for more fantastic travel content like this, then click on the videos to the right, it will be really, really informative. Or you can click on the Planet logo to the left and go to our website for some really fantastic goods. Thanks for watching.